Well, I wouldn't buy it anyway because it's pecan pie, and I don't like pecan pie. But fortunately for them, it turned into meat candy. Your words, not mine. Hey, man, my nickname, not yours. <laughs> And there's there's the intro to your video. If you're enjoying the content Room 6 is putting up, please make sure you subscribe down there and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. While you're at it, feel free to like and share. And uh, yeah, let's go. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, this is Sean, and uh, we're going to do a little whiskey review for you. It's been a minute since we did one. Uh, we're also doing a live stream on Facebook to the Whiskey Tribe. Hello, Tribe. You magnificent bastards. Mm. Yes. And um, we are actually doing... Something neither one of us is especially looking forward to. Uh, the, if you've seen any of our other whiskey reviews together, uh, we like the Highlands a lot. <laughs> I like the Highlands. I like the Space Sides. I like the Lowlands. I basically like everything except in Isla. But there's another version we don't care for. Dessert whiskeys. And there's another besides that uh, in the bourbon world. You know, I don't mind rye if... We're gonna use them as medicine. I feel like rye. <laughs> I feel like rye whiskey is the medicine of the whiskey world. Well, it is the old-fashioned whiskey. It is the one that's gonna have the spice. It's usually gonna be forty-five percent and above. It's gonna stand up to being watered down a little bit. You can put some black tea in it, some honey or some agave nectar, like I do. A little bit of brown sugar, and it's gonna stand up to it. It's gonna have some. Cojones left at, bite. The, at yes. the end of the at, the at the end of the journey. It's still going to be about eighty percent, maybe seventy percent. Right. But uh, black tea, a little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of agave nectar. It's always fun. It's always fun with rye whiskey, but rye by itself, In a little it. hot, a little hot. Generally, little now hot. we have not tried either either one of us. We have not actually had a taste of this yet. This is oh please, Copper Pony. Copper Copper Pony Rye Whiskey, yes, coming in at uh, 45%, coming in hot. Yes, uh, Christmas was good to me, and I got I got these, plus some things that my family said, oh, well, he he has it. He's He has it in his liquor cabinet. He must like it. And I'm like, that's not how whiskey works. And he, I, give me new things. Give me new things so that I can throw out the old things that I don't like. It's <laughs> the way that whiskey works. Give me my whiskey. Don't yep. sue me. Um, so, Created using the revolutionary Terra Pure process to offer you the cleanest, smoothest, and best tasting whiskey Terra, known to man. As in T E R R A, as in Earth. T E R R E. Okay. Terra Pure. I, I believe so. I, I don't know. I've been looking into lights the whole time. Terra Pure. The lights. The lights. They're insane. It's nuts. Well, it's crazy. Hopefully it doesn't taste like either one of the things in its name. <laughs> hopefully it doesn't taste like copper or ponies. Yes. Um, so far, my experience um, with rye, again, generally <clears throat> not super fan or it's mixed with something. So I'm like, okay, it's making it interesting. But um, Fans Room 6 and the Whiskey Tribe hopefully will remember I, I did a, 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 f a flight of Michter's with their small batch, a sour mash, and the rye, and it was three pours for twenty bucks at the Barrymore bar, and I was like, <laughs> That's a "Really good deal." I was like, "I have to try you, even though it says rye there." And it it turns out, uh, I really freaking enjoyed Michter's rye, and maybe because it was the last thing I drank, but it was just so. I mean, being the last thing that you would drink that night, it would be the one that would cut the most through because of the rye spice, because of the intensity but behind also, it. These pours were pretty big. <laughs> oh, they, and they were in actual tasting classes. If you would like to see us do a review of the Barrymore and the the flights that they offer, mm -hmm. we'd be more than happy to do that through yep. a subscription of uh, Patreon. Well, thank you so very much. Uh, yes, actually, down in the uh, the show notes on the Room Six videos, I have a link to my Patreon page, which does not go in my pocket. It goes to making better uh, videos, and hopefully someday, maybe. 
paying musicians to do a showcase for you guys to come play. There are plenty of bands around the Las Vegas and greater Las Vegas area, uh, including Colorado, including Texas, including regions like that, that we would love to get on here to do performances for you guys. And it would be a real treat for us to put them on our shows. But we cannot make that happen without you. We can't do, we can't cover things like travel expenses. We can't cover things like lodging or gear rental or gear borrowing or things like that. It's a very tight knit community amongst musicians, but we're always looking to help each other out in any way we can. For some of us, it's Patreon. It's the way we work things through. It's like our cash app. It's our Venmo. It's our, uh, what's the other one? The Venmo. Hey, pal. Hey, pal. Yes. It's, it works yes. for us the same way as it does for you. And also down there in the links uh, with Patreon, I uh, have links to, you know, I have two CDs out. That, that also, that all that money goes there. I have, a, I have a day job. He has a day job. My wife and kid. I teach, I teach music. These are drums behind me. Yes. I teach on those things. I take drum lessons from him, actually. And uh, my kid sometimes <laughs> takes drum lessons. When your kid feels like she takes drum lessons. Yes. She, she's currently, <laughs> my kid at time of recording is uh, at, enjoying a birthday party. Where she's, my, she's being a llama. She is. Where can, where can people find out about llamas and being a llama? Oh, oh my, What's it like to be like I a wish llama? I had something to toast you with. You're just so smooth. He is smooth like like a good like melted butter baby. Like Evan Williams. Oh, you know, you need to try brown butter truffle fucking ice cream. Oh, it's in the fridge. Oh, uh, we we're gonna have a celebration when you guys cut off. Yes. We're gonna go have fun. We're gonna eat all oh. of it. All the crap that everybody says we shouldn't eat. <sighs> we're gonna shirt. eat all of it mixed with ice cream. As my shirt says, no one cares about your diet. I wear this to the gym. Hey, you can't spell die without diet. What that? I hope that scares you. No, no, I hope it scares them away from diet. <laughs> it inspires right. people to eat what well, they now, want. Now that we've chased away uh, some people who think we talk too much. I notice that I do this a lot. This is my towel. This is my like, all right, and That is your back. towel. Yeah. And walking. Wow, it's insane. It's crazy. All right, really? let's pour the damn whiskey. <laughs> you can. All right, so uh, getting back to our job. <laughs> this is the Copper Pony, 45%. It's a rye whiskey. We're starting with this simply because it's going to be the most abrasive, and it's going to take us the longest to recover from. <clears throat> as so, far as we know. So if we start here, going into the more... More dessert whiskeys like the pie hole pecan pie whiskey and the screwball, uh, something I've been really, really abhorrent against uh, uh, trying and buying. Um, this showed up in my stocking and I said, Yes, please. No, I, I didn't. I said, <laughs> Thank you, sir. May I have well, another? This showed up <laughs> and, and, and the pie hole pecan pie or pecan pie uh, whiskey. So, yes, I know. I know, it's pecan. It's pecan. Yes. It's always pecan. It'll never be anything but pecan. If you say pecan, we can't be friends. Ow. Look how cute that was. You're and it's Nevada. Not Nevada. Thank you. It's literally up in, on the wall in DV, DMV. It says, we pronounce it Nevada. <laughs> it is Nevada. Yeah, so, um, but back to the smoothness. The smooth jazz that oh, I hate, Bloom. I hate these scripts. Wait, I hate wait, these wait. things written. Real quick, right. I want to. I want to. I want to finish Smoothest. up. With, I want to finish up your Smoothest. intro. My my daughter is uh, twelve, and her birthday party is right now. She's having a sleepover, and my lovely wife said, "You get to go drink whiskeys with Sean, and you get to get up in the morning and make him breakfast." And I said, "It's a fair trade." Eh, I might be hungover, but deal for, for as much whiskey as you drink with me. When yes. you do drink with me. This is a general you, not a specific you. When you drink with Sean, you drink a lot. Yeah. The next mornings are not so fun. Uh, yeah. But it's okay. I think that's a fair universal statement. If you drink with me, you're not going to be enjoying life the next day. Get ready with your meme generators. We'll take it easy tonight. <laughs> we'll see. But he mentioned llama. My daughter and I have a, a podcast called How to Be a Llama. It's... Uh, all about raising a, a tween girl and the life and times and struggles that she goes through and, and what I can do to help. And it's kind of an advice podcast, but I'm not any sort of expert, not at all. From what I've heard and from what I've what I've 
what I've pieced together, it's more about how to accept yourself for what you are and how to deal with the ever prolonged encouragement that uh, you don't know what you are because you're a certain age. It's a really nice podcast for kids to listen to Thanks. and for kids that are that are in that tween stage, that that 11, that 12, that 13 stage, it's a good podcast for them to listen to. Thanks, man. You didn't think I listened to it. I didn't know you listened to it. I listen to everything that somebody somebody suggests I listen to. I listen well, to. Thanks. Uh, we, it's more than that. It's also just it. It's there's always some sort of science involved or learning. But what's your best thing of the week? Quite, we answer questions from listeners um, and family members, and uh, yeah, that's why I say it's so good for tweens to listen to because not everybody that age gets that family involvement. And it's a yeah. nice, and it is a, a really nice, easy way to supplement that activity. And it actually is, I started it because I was worried that my kid is getting to the age, what did they say? Brett Cox is watching. Brett Cox is one of, one of my best friends from Kansas City. Um, fuck the Chiefs. Go Niners! Fuck the Chiefs, go Niners. Brett, I miss you, my friend. Uh, he's also one of the, one of the better guitar players I've ever played with. Nice. Brett, me. come out to Vegas when you get a chance. Uh, Definitely. I love you. I miss you. I hope you and Kat are doing well. Uh, drop us a line. Say hello. Right on. Do you. Do you. Sancha. Well, we're, we're, I almost drank it. I almost Starting drank it. with the nose. Okay. Definite rye spice on the top, but it's a little more coriander and a little more uh, fennel seed. Right. Now, what is, Happy. The, what is the difference with rye versus some of the other... Whiskey. Uh, so for elements. me, rice spice has a little bit more white pepper, a little bit more black pepper. It's a little more upfront in the nose. Well, I didn't where, mean, I where mean in terms bourbons. of nose, I meant like what is rye? What makes it rye whiskey? Is it, is it a grain? I don't understand. So so you have uh, 51%, right? It's 51% corn mash bill or 51% rye mash bill. Okay. So in every. So your grain would be rye. Your it, predominant it, grain would be rye. But in every every bourbon, is there a little rye mixed in? Depends on the mash bill. Some places do it, some places don't. I think that um, uh, MGP does a little bit of rye in their bourbon mash. It could be wrong, but from what I understand, there's always a little bit thrown in, thrown in there. Sorry, hiccups are going to start. Mm. That's, that's what happens so, right after I... Mm -hmm. um, but it's typically the rye spice that comes through. Um, all right there. Yeah, one of the one of the many benefits of the rats are getting big. Jesus, they sound like the size of children. I should do the same thing to them mm. that I do to the kids and throw them off the third fucking balcony. You know it's been a it's been a minute nice. It's been a minute Well there's only two balconies. Yeah. <laughs> so I can't get in trouble because there is no third right. balcony. It, it's been a minute since we did we suffered under the Pete. The guys of Pete. Yes. And I was Pete sucks. I took a I was like, what is that thing? And I was like, oh it's iodine. <laughs> you know what? I could I could see that, that rubber iodine note. But just it very it smells clean. It smells like okay. I could see that as like a disinfectant, uh, maybe an astringent. Yeah, but it's like like a like a yeah. It's like, like when you get a cleaner that's like lemon flavored or something, but not necessarily lemon. Um, I believe I'm picking up some sort of lavender or other floral, but the actual flower, not like a a, a, a essence of it. Right, it's less essential oil and it's oh, more my. floral. It's I'll, more from the root. I'll say this for them. It's interesting, interesting me. It's peaking my interest. It's definitely interesting, but there's no star anise. There's no anise flavor. Oh, no. There's none no of the baking spices. Yeah. There's, there's, there's no black licorice. Thing. I don't smell vanilla. No, I don't get much vanilla anyway. I mean, you just one of us just got sent on my arm. Um, I Sorry mean, it's that. definitely got oil in it. It's got legs. Knows how to use them. Yeah, really oily whiskey. Uh, with anything that's oily and uh, above... 42, 43%. Eventually, you would like to just dive into the realm of adding a couple drops of still water. Bing. Look at that. Add a couple drops of still water just to break up the oil compounds 
and to isolate what is oil soluble and water soluble. That's what the what, that's what the purpose is of adding that water. Do you get chlorine? No. No, the astringency I get. It's but it's more like a an orange peel or maybe a grapefruit peel. Yeah, there's that, but it, it's what did you do to that peel? Oh, witch hazel. I know. I don't even know what that smells like. Just a second. I will tell you what that smells like. Yes. 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 I enjoy doing these tastings because it forces me to actually find you know so pay attention and learn apple. instead of just like. Just oh, a, I like the way it tastes. Let's drink it. Just a couple puffs of that in your nose, you're going to get the astringency, astringency that I'm talking about. What well, does the rose petal? Change no, it's witch hazel. It's, okay. it's it's what's coming through the predominant note. So, yeah. what, he, what he gave me, if you want to tell him. Uh, oh, well, no, just, I'm getting rose. I'm getting rose petal. For yeah, sure. it's just Thayer's facial toner, but it's a witch hazel based facial toner. So you'll get the the floral part of the rose water. Yeah. But yeah. it's the astringency that comes through. It's the very specified witch hazel scent that you're going to get. It's that root. Hang on a second. I just keep bumping this thing and in in making the camera feel. And there is a there is a, a vegetal note dead set in the middle. It's kind of a... Uh, oh, you just reminded me of Steve Martin. It's kind of an oak. It's kind of a, a almost, almost a, a roasted cedar. More than oak and more than young cedar. I don't get the roasted cedar. I get I get a wood, but it's definitely not uh, oak or you know your standard bourbon barrel kind of thing. No, it's not a bourbon barrel. It's it's not a, sweet enough. A cedar plank you get food on. Okay, yeah, like you get the uh, the roasted right. fish on a cedar right. plank. Because when yeah. I when I think the well uh, no, roasted cedar, I guess you're right, but I. It's such a pain in the ass being right all the time. Oh, wait, try having a kid. <laughs> no, thanks. I'm good. I'm yes. really. I'm, it's left to better people <laughs> than me. But uh, I'll take that. Shall we? Shall we? Uh, clink, let's dive in. Clink and say yeah. Say yeah. Yeah. That's a wonderful chord. Ah, oh, it is. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Dry. Um, really, really dry. Dry, a little bit of tackiness to it. A little burn, but the burn is quick. It's not punishing me. I don't me. mind the burn. Yeah, it's not punishing me. The first thing I get out of it is uh, is a green apple or a Fiji apple. or a food. Yeah. I definitely get more of the peel now. The, uh, but the, it tastes the, like raw. Yeah, it does. It, it, it tastes it, like a raw, like, like you... Um, in the middle of summer, summer, when you cut up an orange into quarters and you just take the bite mm -hmm. and you go like through the pith, the meat, the meat yep. of the orange, and you get into the pith and you get a little bit of that bitterness, but your nose is picking up on the floral sense of all the orange oil going in. Have you ever peeled an orange by take first biting into it to start and then you feel it like that? No, because I'm not an animal. Well, that's how I peel a lot of times. I'm sorry. And that's what I get. It tastes like literal peel. I'm not sure candy. that I'm sure the teeth are appreciated in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. Never use teeth. Just you know, just general. Just hundred hey. percent don't use hey. teeth. Hey, you don't know what someone likes. And what Fuck, you're like. right. If it was me, yep, I'd be smooth shaven. That's all I'm gonna say. Ooh, I've not drank enough to make that comment. It never would. You never would. <laughs> <laughs> no, to make the comment that I'm thinking. Mm. There's something sweet there. Once you get through all the the, the opening notes, the I'm still getting through the uh, through the gum I had. <clears throat> it's. It's not dry, like sweet, like a dried fruit, or oh, I know where you're going. Yeah, what is that? It's 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 a sweet, but it's not a necessarily a pleasant sweet. Swiss chard. That's not sweet. That's the opposite of sweet. So you, ever, you, it. you ever had roasted Swiss chard? You know, yeah, like caramelized a little bit with onions. No, we. They, if whenever we do get Swiss chard, 
from Don Klebowski. Oh, how about that? Uh, like a white onion that's been roasted, like it. slow and low, brown sugar. Brown sugar is what I get out of that. That's the uh, that's the the bourbon coming through. That's, Do you get raw brown sugar? <sighs> yeah, I can. Yeah. yeah. When you said brown sugar, I wasn't getting like a, a brulee kind of thing. I was getting no, I wasn't getting a brulee. I was getting the middle of of uh, steeping things, like it's it, it, like it's mid caramelization. On the back, I, I got this weird uh, acidic, almost like I switched from an orange peel to lemon kind of thing. I can see lemon in that, and it might be just that kind of iodiny. It could be the iodine, but also with most rye predominant whiskeys. The reason I like rye predominant whiskeys is because they work so well with doing hot toddies, which are oh, some kind of toddy in decades. Some kind of citrus, some kind of tea, whether it's black tea, which is the the, the predominant one. I like Rubio's tea. Rubio's tea with a little bit of lemon. And a little agave nectar instead of brown sugar, instead of granulated sugar. Now here's a weird thing. But that's why I find the citrus blends so well with rye. I took a, another swig, maybe a little bigger. Mm -hmm. Suddenly the burn just went on for a while on it the is, tip of my tongue. It is 45%. Yeah, I know, but it, it is 90 proof, by the way. Uh, uh, Copper Pony. Just never tell me the odds. Copper Pony <laughs> is 90 proof. It is 45%. So it is going to stand mm -hmm. up to being mixed well. Um, oh, it's North Charleston, South Carolina. I like this better than the uh, Palmetto, that's for sure. That was, a, that was a thing. That was the thing we did. Yeah. Link here. Uh, I, I went to South Carolina for a week of training at the day job and, and in the airport... <laughs> There's a distillery store, and I said, you know what? I should get a whiskey and do a review, and we did. And Palmetto whiskey kind of fell flat. It was, mm -hmm. it was one, it was more one note than a Grange Stone, which I like my Grange Stone. There's a bottle over there I brought just in case, but it's after about ten minutes it goes one note. Palmetto was even flatter than that. This, on the other hand, brown sugar and blueberries, raw blueberries, or, or Blueberries. Okay. Go back. Open up the bottle. Take a sniff. Yeah. Aged a minimum of four months in New Oak. <laughs> hey, you know what? Texas is doing some really, really, really fun stuff with aging because the temperature is so extreme. Uh, send some stuff. I'm send some it. stuff to California. I'm putting a disclaimer at the front of my Because when you send whiskey to California to age in whiskey barrels, the summers in the southern part, especially around uh, Palm Springs, Cathedral City, Desert Hot Springs, uh, a little a little further south in Ontario, a little further south in Anaheim, uh, you'll get these 120 degree summers, but you'll get these wonderful nights in the winter that are 35, 32 degrees almost. Wonderful for aging whiskey fast. Because if you can catch one of those really hot summers and one of those really cold winters, hashtag thanks global warming. Uh, it can really speed up that process because what you're doing is you're you're forcing the process of whiskey to go into the barrel and out of the barrel at an extreme rate, right? Faster and faster, and it and it creates a little bit of harshness. But if you mellow it out with things like uh, different uh, different cask finishes, like port or sherry, or uh, especially <laughs> rose or sherry. Um, or uh, maybe a Chardonnay cask, or I really want to do a Gewurztraminer. Gesundheit. Cask finish. Okay, what is it? Gewurztraminer wine? It's like a... Oh, it's, it's a wine. Like, it's a sweet white. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, oh. You could have told me it was like a peppermint schnapp. I would have said, okay, <laughs> sure. It's my mom's favorite wine. But if you if you finish something that bitter and that, that extreme into something that's a little more mellowing, it's going to bring out those subtleties really well. So yeah, convert some of your finished uh, whiskey. That's really interesting. Uh, get at me. That's really interesting. While you were talking, I figured out what that sweet note is that pinged me. As soon as I read South Carolina, I was like, the water. 
it's so green in South Carolina that the water there, even filtered water, has this sweet tang to it that kind of messed with me, to be honest. They hate, people I work with out there, they hate Vegas water. Even bottled, even filtered, they're like, no, no, you just go buy bottled water. I'm like, it's filtered water. But that's the, when you drink the water out of, out of the tap or a drink fountain, there's this sweet little tang. You're just like, that's not supposed to be there. It's all the sweet tea that those people right? drink. So, uh, and then when you were talking, I took another swig and suddenly. That sweetness showed up. Buttery. Suddenly a buttery toffee thing. But just a little. I was just like, that. where did that come from? Uh, I'm going to throw a couple of log drops in. Oh, sorry. I'm so gauche. How does that work? Well, it works like this. You hold it by the handle <laughs> and then you pour it into the thing. Oh, no! I knew you were going to do that, so I was like, ready for it. <laughs> <coughs> Check it out. <laughs> mm. I'm still going to go, for my sweetness, I'm still going to go blueberry, brown sugar... Maybe a little granulated sugar, but Ooh. that's weird. It mellowed it out. Oh, it, it washed, washed it away. Just washed away all the highs and the lows. No, like like this is actually enjoyable. Oh, what you got? I was just waving, waving the bread. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, you kids with your newfangled uh, technology there, with the hip and in the happy. I didn't, the nose, I mean, it, it muted that too, to me. It's centered the vanilla. Yeah, but, but still the iodine's there a little bit. But you see what I mean? I'm like, hey, a little water, that's not too bad. You know what the funkiness is that I got? What? Banana. Like banana nut muffin. There's okay. Little, there's a little banana, there's a little baking spice, there's a little bit of uh, like a slivered almond kind of thing going on. You're right. Now that the with the water, yeah. there, suddenly I'm getting some baking spices where I wasn't before. And maybe it's because the baking spices were so hidden behind. But it's the baking spices, it's the uh, the orange zest, it's the it's the pith, it's a little bitter. Oh, you're so pithy. <laughs> it's a little bit of all that. Mm. I don't mind the baking spice in that level. No. Like I'm, I'm usually very sensitive to that kind of thing, but right now it's mm -hmm. fine. It's good. Mm -hmm. I don't hate it as much as I was afraid of. Yeah, same. I, I, I'll give Copper Pony. Uh, what do you want to do? Out of ten? Three out of five Josh heads. Three out of five <laughs> Josh heads. It's a new, new scale I'm working on. Uh, I give it six and a half out of ten. All right, there you go. How, how, so it's slightly above average. How many flim flams would you give it? <laughs> oh, 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 that's the other thing I asked was how much is it fucking like? No idea. Okay, but no, you know, I know who bought it for me, so it could have been super pricey. I would not be surprised if my daughter picked that out for me because of the horse. Because that's what my wife does. It's like let's go to Total Wine, pick out some booze for Daddy. I have a great family. All right, let me borrow that thing again so I can rinse this. We'll move on to the dreaded by him and by me. Pecan pie. Yes, I said it on purpose. I don't like pecan pie at all. You want to do a new cut for your for your video editing? No. no three, two, one. No. I mean, I can. It doesn't matter. Well, now you have it. There you go. So. Oh, you're, if, if I'm going to do that, I have to do the, the the intro all over again. Go for it. I'm not stopping you. All right. And yeah, I'm intentionally washing this down because I drank so much fucking whiskey today. <laughs> I don't need any gripe from anybody. And by the way, appreciate you still watching. Thank you. <sighs> if only all water could be slightly whiskey tinged. <laughs> right? <laughs> Oh, I drink so much water then. <laughs> Man, you're going through tons of water. You must be so hydrated. And yet... <laughs> and yet I'm not. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm going to nose the, uh, the bottle again. Oh, yeah, it's still there. So, pie hole... I, 
I did a review of what the Easter Bunny brought me last Easter, and uh, link here. And I got a little thing, of, a little bottle of pie hole apple pie. No, I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. It wasn't pie hole. It was his words, not mine. It was old moonshine, like the little tiny mason jar. Of, oh yeah, old yeah. Old moonshine, I think it was. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and it was it was uh, apple pie. Apple and pie. Apple pie. Uh, yes. Yeah. There it is. So I have no idea what this is going to be like. Never mind. We're going to say anything. I had, I had banana brandy in Clarksdale, Mississippi. You still talk about that. <laughs> oh, man. It was the best and worst thing I've ever drank. If I can find you a little thing like this. Of I would. Brandy, I would. It would be. No, it would be a joke gift. It would be a joke gift. I'd fucking kill you. <laughs> I fucking hate banana brandy now. It is the worst fucking thing. I didn't say you'd have to drink it. It's like when someone gives me a little bottle of tequila. Dude, no, it's one of those things that I'd look at it and go, "Uh, uh." I'm that way with tequila. I I swear to God, I drink a gallon of fucking banana brandy. Well, that's your own fault. No, no, no. I have a sister in law. As pushy as I am, I met a man who is more pushy than me. And he lives in Clarksdale, Mississippi. And he'll also tell you to drink the worm out of the tequila bottle. Don't trust people that tell you to drink the worm out of the tequila bottle. There's your little uh, your little intro. Nice. You're welcome. To be fair. To be fair. I told you you didn't have to take the, the worm. And you did anyway. You, you, got, you got angry at it. <laughs> and you did it. Yeah. I still have one ball. I got, I, got, I got coached into doing it. Fuck the first. God. Did not. No, the first time I got We did some mezcal <sighs> a while ago. And, and I, yeah, I still. Mm. Anyway, moving <sighs> on. Yeah, moving my balls drew three sizes that day. <laughs> <laughs> and they say the hair on his balls grew three <laughs> times. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, You've seen Jim Carrey act that scene out. You know what I'm talking about. All right. I'm not going to bother make, making three separate videos. No. No, we're. we're oh it's a whole thing. Also, we're the same thing, and, and I didn't do an outro. It's, it's fine. It'd be fine. Oh, yes. The good news is you control how much you pour. Yeah, I do. Please give me whatever you give yourself. Yeah, absolutely. Because I'm not looking forward to this either. This was one of those, gee, you shouldn't have gifts. Because not because of so much. No, of, really, you shouldn't have. It because I don't like pecan pie. If you if it was pumpkin pie, mm, apple pie, okay, pecan pie, cherry pie with it's Canadian whiskey, eh? With pecan pie. No, it's court. not. It is. Oh, am I gonna hit it twice? <laughs> There's a pun. There's a pun on the bottle. Where? There's a pun right at the top of the bottle. I missed it. Where? A pioneering whiskey. Oh, cry me. Fuck you, guys who made this. This is the right up front caramel color. Recipe numbers. This is recipe number three one four. Not as good as Austin three sixteen. I'll tell you that much. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Pie hole whiskeys were inspired by our grandma's favorite pie recipes, served up in a delicious blend of Canadian whiskey and tempting pie flavored liqueurs. I don't think your grandma was serving pie served up with whiskeys. I know she wasn't serving up pie flavored liqueurs. Yeah. So slice off a shot and share some with your friends. You may never want to eat pie with a fork again. I may never want to eat pie again. At least they're Correct. honest. At least they're honest about it's. This is designed for shots. What? What's on the list to drink tonight? Well, we just went over the. Welcome uh, to the party, pal. Hello. Welcome, Copper Pony. <laughs> See you at the party, pal. Copper Pony rye whiskey. Rye. 45%, 90 proof. Eh, Bottled out of... Slightly North, above average. North Charleston, South Carolina. We actually enjoyed it more than we thought we would, especially with a little bit of Not water. to say we enjoyed it, just slightly yeah. more than we thought we would. Now we're on to the fucking, fucking pie hole fucking whiskey. If you know Sean, you know he doesn't like dessert whiskey. So we've got pie hole pecan pie whiskey. Apparently Canadian. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Why? Look what they did with the barcode. <laughs> <laughs> look you they, cunts! Look what they did with the barcode. I fucking hate it. You put a pun on the front side of the label. You put a goddamn slice of pie graphic over the barcode. fucking barcode. And feed your pie hole responsibly. In Nor oh, uh, imported by Norwalk, Connecticut. Grandma used to say it's perfect for your pie hole. No, she didn't. 
Canadian by way of Connecticut. So we're aren't we all? Yeah. So we are already prejudiced against this. I'm hoping it proves us wrong. Um, the last, the closest thing I had to something like this was some apple pie brandy from Old Moonshine last Easter, and it was pretty apple pie. -y. This on the nose, on the bottle, crust pie. You, you, it smelled like pecan pie. I hate pecan pie. So um, yeah, shall we? You want to just drink or do you want to just get some notes? To shared suffering. Oh, we didn't even get the cord. No, because I muted it. <laughs> okay, so obviously baking spices. Crust. Buttery crust. I can literally see this pie. I, I can... See the browning. Close your eyes. Tell me what you see because I've got a picture too. Grandma. No, I'm just <laughs> You fucking drink it. You drink it with him after he says grandma. <laughs> you fucking drink. You. Right now. Go ahead. I'll wait. What's the matter? You can't reach? Are your arms too short? I, I just realized we never fully answered your question. Third on the list is screwball peanut, peanut butter, butter whiskey. Peanut butter whiskey. Which... Uh, Surprise hit, to be honest. I did a, um, a, an interview. Hit. Hit. Do I need to quote you? Amidst the cavalcade of fun that we are having, it is a moderate success. It's the reason it's going last. It, it, it's... We're saving, we're literally saving the best for last. Yes. We'll get to that. Because I smelled the other two and went, so, fucking no. Uh... What this is, is is basically part of my Christmas haul. And I got... The funny thing is, some people in my family think, Oh, he has that whiskey in his liquor cabinet. Let's buy him more. And I'm like, that's not how whiskey works. I want new. Give me new. Uh, you remember that uh, Glen Morang... Is it Morangi or Morangi? You remember that sample we did with the yellow box? Right. I got another one of those. I got a little flight... Uh, uh, a little airplane the bottle. Santa... The... Pace Parker... Hayes Parker. Or, um, Parker Hayes. The, remember our very first flight of airplanes? Yeah. The Hayes, where we're like, oh, hey, that's a Hayes good one. Parker. Yes, I got one of those. Still just as good. Um, I got another Grangestone Madeira cast finish, which literally uh, two weeks before, or I don't remember how soon before Christmas, we had done a, re a review of it. So, thanks, mother-in-law. But these, these were the surprise, and I'm really hoping it's good. So, all you get in this really to me is pumpkin is pecan pie. I'm not they, there's no, you know there's they weren't aiming for any other subtleties, I think. This is I'll, I'll go further if you want. Okay, good. Because to me, this is somebody took a fresh slice of hot pecan pie, shoved it under my nose. That's all I'm getting. A little twinge on the crust, like it's been overcooked a little bit. It's where the bitter notes are coming from, but there's some definite brown butter. There's a little bit of truffle oil. Truffle oil? Why would you? Okay. I'll, I'll show you the ice cream and I'll show you what I'm talking about. There's a little bit of brown butter, a little bit of truffle oil, a little bit of sea salt. See, that's why he's... There's, the, but there's a, there's a fruity compote sugar finished kind of fruit note and I can't figure out what it is. It may be the banana. I'm pretty sure it's the banana. It's very banana custard, banana nut bread, banana something. There's that funkiness to it. Okay, it's I'm starting to cut now through. Getting, uh, yeah. Yeah. through it. Yeah. Maybe because it's power of suggestion, but suddenly, yeah, the uh, the top layer of the pie has been removed. Kind of like a lemon meringue. It's like somebody pulling the crust off, and you're yeah. like, oh, all the stuff underneath. And there's a little bit of banana in there. I don't get any apple, though. No, I get I get a little bit of uh, pioneering whiskey. I get a little bit of oh, uh, a little bit of maple, a little bit of uh, maybe a hickory, like a hickory smoked bacon. There is that smokiness to it, but it's the bitter, funky notes that I get, like a burnt pine or like a burnt custard. Or, God forbid, a burnt caramel. There's something in there that's a little... 
off-putting, and I can't tell if it's the burnt sugar aspect. You know what? Suddenly, I'm not getting pecan pie so much as I am getting bread pudding. With, bread pudding, I can but see. With a with a caramel sauce, and and maybe maybe some nuts in there. Although, why would you put nuts in bread pudding? It's just wrong. Raisins, but raisins are. I can't wait to see what the taste does. <laughs> I'm not getting raisins as much as I'm getting cranberries. No, I didn't say I was getting raisins. Okay. Just letting you know. Getting cranberries a little bit. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. No chocolate notes, no cacao notes, no, like, overly, overly sugary notes. There's there's just a... For me, I, I linger on that bitter note. I hit that, and I'm like, that takes me out of the whole experience. Right. I bet this is going to burn a little just because of the legs, just because the oil in it. No, it should be fine. You think? Yeah. We're going in. Oh! It's obviously sweet, but not cloyingly sweet to me. Okay, there it is. I lied. Yeah. Yep, it's still hanging around. Uh, I got, I, that longer, oh god, the longer yeah. it sticks around, the sweeter it gets, and it's just... You know what? They, it's they, overpowering. They were accurate with the word liqueur. This yeah. is the, mix it with a, a thing and give it, put it in umbrella, or, or get, you know, give, put it in a... Put a, it in a glass like a, with other things. Yeah. Yeah. This, I'll bet you could make a, some killer cocktail with this, uh, uh, some conco concoction. You know what? By itself. If you gonna, that's gonna last me a long time. I'll tell you what, if you go for an old fashioned, no bitters, a little bit of orange zest, a little bit of muddled cherry, a little bit of sugar cube, Ooh. that would be really nice. It would not it would elevate everything a little bit. All those all those extra components would bring out something really nice in it, but by itself I suddenly there is something that's left to be desired. Um I got Maple, or sorry, I got brown sugar bacon baked in the oven. Yep. Light brown sugar. Yep. Yeah, it was like, Like oh. desserty bacon. Yeah, I was like, oh, there's light like brown can sugar. Candy bacon. I was like, oh, candy, thank you, candy, candy bacon. bacon. I was like, what, there's light brown sugar? Oh, there's meat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's probably, probably, you know, smoky type thing. But No, but definitely, but that's the thing that a lot of people get with uh, uh, um, Iowa whiskeys. You know what? I This, it's growing on me already. I'm not going to say I want like a... One of these size glasses of it, but I can't. It just like after a while yeah. that after a while that maple bacon to me this is it like, sits around lingering like like a, a room temperature meat. They were right when they said to have make it a shot. Yeah, I'm, I'm half tempted to be honest. Yeah, this is um, that ice would probably be really good. This is what you do when someone says, "Hey, let's do a shot oh, together." Oh no, now now I'm losing. What? Now I'm losing the brown sugar and I'm just getting bacon. You start making something like a bad thing. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah. I lost I lost all the sweetness now. It's just um, coming across as bacon. It's bacon water. Bacon water. <laughs> Sorry. You people have heard of fucking hot dog water. Why is bacon don't, water so uh, mystical? Don't don't go there. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Jeez. Hot dog water. Mmm. Yeah, you hated it so fast. You drank it so fast, you hated it. Yeah, so obviously on the on the tongue, bacon, or, or we're going candied bacon, and I'm not. I don't get pecan pie on the tongue. No. Yeah, I think it's the 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 implication of mm -hmm. the brown sugar, the caramel sauce, the brown butter. They smelled it and said. Pecan pie. Let's let's call it pecan pie. Yeah, it's like it's what it smells like. The the taste does not live up to the smell because nobody makes a candied bacon whiskey. But if they did, <laughs> mm. you almost set me going that way. Sorry, I was like, nope, nope. Uh, I'm I, right on the fucking edge there. I'm starting to rethink our strategy of of starting with the rye strategy. I kind of think maybe if the rye would have cleansed the palate before the screwball. You all right? You working it through there? Yep. Now say it to Bears. <laughs> to Bears. To Bears. He's, he's having a heart attack. <laughs> that fucking SNL yeah. skit with uh, Chris Farley. Yeah. 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 Uh.
Chris, Far Chris Farley, we hard hardly knew you. I heard he lived in the Vanda mother. Down by the river! Oh man, one of my greatest I'm, one of my greatest inspirations of all time was Chris Farley. I'm having trouble. Like I want to pound it. Drinking it? Yeah, yeah me too. Wanna, but it's like mm, it's crap. Oh, what rating would you give it? The pie hole. I never really laid down what the goal was of the rating. Like, is it something I, I think the rating is would if I buy it with my own five, money? If it's five or above, I feel like you would give it a second chance. I would buy with my own money. Wouldn't. No, I said I would. That's the my, my rating. So I'm going to say wouldn't. one out of five Josh heads. Oh, Jesus. Because I wouldn't buy it with my own money now that I know. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't buy it anyway because it's pecan pie and I don't like pecan pie. But fortunately for them, it turned into meat candy. Your words, not mine. Hey. Man, my nickname, not yours. <laughs> <laughs> and there's there's the intro to your video. Ladies and gentlemen, Meet please welcome to the stage. Meet Candy. Get your dollar bills out, ladies. It's seniors night. <laughs> Thank you very much, Matthew. What what about say? Stra well, first he said strategy. Yes, yes, I did. And then he said nice. I'm not re wearing this shirt because I was, uh yeah. I am not what you call it, an intelligent man. Which movie is that from? It's from a lot of movies. Lord Marvel. Rob Schneider. Uh, no, it's not Rob Schneider. It's the other guy. I'm not what you would call an intelligent man. No, I mean, it yeah, wasn't yeah. Rob Schneider. He's, he was in the movie. but Yeah. He was like, you, you know, you can do it all night long. But what I can say is, yeah, that guy. Yeah, that, that guy. guy. Yeah. That fucking guy. He starts crying and grabs out of the woman's breasts. Now you can so tell hysterical. It's you can tell that I have not had too much to drink yet, because I did not pour my water out of this and made a mess. What the fuck are you trying to say? I'm trying to say that I made a mess. No, I'm trying to say that in other uh, excursions with you, I excursions. Might have. We haven't been to the Serengeti. Into the land of whiskey. At least we haven't been land down under. Ten ten chicka go chicka 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 go go do. You know what? Pour some so we can toast Australia. Those poor bastards. It's, yeah. Actually, that's the best thing you've said all night. I love you. <laughs> they even pour is nice. Hmm? They even pour is nice. You gotta love a screw top whiskey. I have a name like Screwball, they had to go with Screwtop, right? Oh, finish it off, dude. You know you like it. You know you like it. Alright, fine, I'll finish it off. Sure, let's do. sure recycling. Or lack thereof. You act like I recycle? It's bold of you to assume I care about the planet. So it's Screwball Peanut Butter Whiskey. Oh, I'll say that when you evaporate all the liquid, that smells like peanut butter. That yep. smells like fucking peanut butter. But like not just straight up right. out of the jar. It's so, been a couple days. You haven't really checked on it. It's a little dry peanut butter. So this is 35%. Whiskey with natural flav flavors and color or caramel colors to the Misfits Black Sheep and Screwballs. And uh, they did the thing where the backside of the label, you know, when it's empty, you can read their, their little definition of screwball. But oh, so it gives you a goal. A goal. Mira Loma, California bottled. Never see that on a whiskey bottle. Mira Loma, California? Yeah. So, a little brief history here. Is that another one? Uh, a little brief history. I got this bottle, and I was I was a scurred. <laughs> and the band was hanging out at a bar, and I, I said, hey, they said, hey, we've got a new peanut butter whiskey. I said, is, is that Screwball? Let me get a cold shot of that so I can see what I'm getting into. And uh, the keyboard player and I did it, and it was really good. It was peanut butter up front, and then on the finish was that Reese's peanut butter holiday, like a Christmas tree or the Easter egg peanut butter, which never tastes quite the same. Because it's, as my dad said, my dad was a purist with his Reese's peanut butter cups. He liked the original and nothing else. The miniatures, there was too much uh, chocolate. The Easter eggs. He would have hated the fins. The, oh, <laughs> fuck me. He like, the outrage. Fuck you. The fucking outrage that would have poured over us all. <laughs> he would have found you. 
He'd have found you. Yeah. If you would have eaten the thins, he would have found oh, you. I just realized. It's not. Is it going to stand? Hallelujah! It's raining, man. Don't see me. Uh, nope. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not, not going to stand. It's not going to stand because they slightly rounded the top. I know. I thought about that, and I said, I don't want to. I'll be freaking impressed if that works. First try. He'll be freaking impressed. Oh, oh you fuck. No, no. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh my god. Sir? There. All right. First things first. Done well because your meat should never be well done. <laughs> My meat is always well done. Just to use him. Anyway. <laughs> Try the veal. Yes. Tip your cocktail waitress. I'll be here all night. Try to have the fish. Also, Australia, hang in there. Fuck, man. Australia's really going through it. It's fucking yeah. crazy. I mean, I know there are fires it's, in you know the Congo and in the Amazon. It's fucking... It, the world dude. is on fire. Bill Nye said it best. You seen that bit with Bill Nye? Oh my god. Tell me the bit. I, I to paraphrase, slightly off topic. I think he was on Jimmy Kimmel or something. But he, he's there, there's a globe, and he's he's talking, he's like, you know, so let's talk about the state of the world. He lights the globe on fire, he says, the world's on fucking fire. Just drops the F-bomb yeah, right. and, and walks out. <laughs> like, there was more to it, but it was just like, finally, he finally did it. Hey, Bill Nye has had enough of your crap. He, I taught you Bill science. Bill Nye has had enough of everybody's He's crap. He's like, I taught you science. I didn't teach you this shit so you could deny it. Do you really want to make him angry? Do you really want to make mm. him sad? Or Do you me. really want to make him cry? Do you really want to hurt me? Do you really want to hurt me? Now you're picking up on what I'm putting down. Yes. We're still better so um, than, than Daniel and Rex. Sorry. Australia, uh, it, it is unfathomable what you're going through, especially considering the the, just the, the catastrophic events that, that you guys are going through, but... Never mind just the animals as well. The, the animals, the people, the, the relocation efforts that are going through. Um, but some of us here see you. We love you. We're with you. We we understand that it's mm -hmm. it's a it's a shitty way to come from, yeah. uh, especially those of us that come from warmer climates and deserts and, and places like California, which get forest fires every fucking year. It seems like. Seems like. The, did and you see? Just, it, oh, sorry. We get it, and it's a terrible position to be in. But we understand, and we're here with you, and we're we're here for you, yeah. and and this. This one is for you. Magnificent bastards, raise a glass. Australia. I'll be glad you're not there. Australia. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, let's just drink it. Mm. Well, before we get into the notes, there's actually, uh, if you're local, uh, the Vegas area, there's a uh, benefit concert going on. I don't know the date. You can find it online somewhere. They got a 10 year old Australian guitar prodigy. Come into play. It's cool. Yeah, I, I think. Can we can we book the band for him? Right. Does he does he need a backing band? <laughs> I don't know. He's already making the Joe Bonham massive faces. So. <laughs> no, he's he's apparently really really good. Um, I just happened to see. I was like, there's been a slew of prodigies getting public drums and and just all sorts of prodigies. Uh, there's the uh, ten year old Japanese girl playing drums. Yeah. There's that boy uh, who got to hang out with Slipknot. Because there was a video of him spot on. There's the there's the Dave Grohl kid. Yeah, Dave Grohl's put notice no, to a lot of people. The, the kid. The, yeah, yeah, I know. The kid showed up in Kiss makeup. Yeah. Oh, you mean not not kid kid the the early twenties or whatever. It's not early twenties. It's like fucking ten years old. Oh, because there was no there was a kid who was in Kiss makeup who literally ran around the stage, played all the guitar parts for uh, Monkey Wrench. And it looked like he had to be maybe, maybe teenager, late teenager. 
No, the other kid. Kid, kid. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I don't remember what he did. Um, but anyway, getting back to what we're doing. Um, I, uh, I've already had quite a bit of tastings on this, so I wanna, I'm curious to see what he has to say about it. Uh, so if we're, if we're diving away from, from the Australia stuff, I just yeah. want to say, uh, again, to recap, if, if you if you can find it within you, please donate to uh, mm. uh, one of the charitable organizations or, or one of the GoFundMes or one of the the uh, the prolifications that that hold up the the funds being spent the right way, and that's rehabilitation. That's that's uh, uh, right. Re, uh, you know, putting back into the the infrastructure for Australia. Uh, because it's just a really unfortunate event. Yeah. But um, to get into the notes, uh, the the three things I pick up are coffee, creamer, and caramel. And when you say coffee, you don't mean black coffee. No, I mean Starbucks, too much sugar. Latte. Too much, yeah, sure. Uh, frappe, not a frappuccino, but a, uh, oh, uh, yeah, a caramel macchiato. macchiato. Caramel macchiato, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah stuff my 12-year-old likes to drink. Some with a bunch of sugar in it. Some kind of coffee drink with a bunch of sugar, but there's like that coffee twinge on it. On the nose, I don't get a lot of sugar up front. Oh, I do. No, not like what you were talking about. I get, it's no, more I'm just, like a, it's more like I picked just, up somebody's, it's just granulated I, sugar. I picked up somebody's Starbucks cup and smelled it. Oh, yeah. You know, um, and there's, the thing is, they're marketed as a, excuse me, peanut butter whiskey. I don't, I only got peanut butter, peanut butter flavor out of it when it was a cold shot. It was like, boom, all down. Oh, you know what's crazy? What? Wash it down with water. All that's coming up on the back taste is peanut butter. I like peanut butter cup. Huh. That's fucking crazy. That is crazy. But like peanut butter cup where you took the chocolate off. Yeah. Like you peeled it off yourself. My wife likes to do. It's not bad, but it's. It's fucking weird. Yeah. It's a, sh it's again a shot. It's a, it's a, it's a gimmick. It's a peanut butter whiskey. Right. It, but, it'd be great in cocktails. Like if you throw it into a uh, uh, um, <laughs> one second, give me a second, give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. Sorry, sorry. I got it, I got it. I uh, um, vamp. Cafe Patron XO, Ooh. where you get the uh, Cafe Patron that's like coffee liqueur and stuff like that. That with this, maybe a little bit of something to break right. up the middle ground, like a like a lime. You know what? I want to put whipped cream on this. <laughs> it totally is a freaking... As soon as you said Starbucks, I'm like, yes, this needs to be in a cup with a plastic lid. Oh, you said whipped cream. My stomach flipped. And I'm like, oh. God. Sorry, sorry. No, it's fine. Um, just to... This is a dangerous kind of thing, though, because it is... You don't want to like it, but it's... Your exact words were, I hate that I like that. <laughs> I could do shots of it. I yeah. could do. I could do chilled shots of it. I could do... Let me put it this way. I interviewed it's a, thirty. It's thirty five percent. Also, yeah, it's thirty five percent and seventy proof. It's a little under what we all consider whiskey because we all have like that forty percent, eighty proof baseline right. drilled into us from everybody. Yeah. I would give this a three out of five, Josh heads, only because I like it. But if I want whiskey, like proper whiskey, this is not it. This is the fun. This is the, oh, you got that? Let's have a shot. <coughs> or maybe let's have some on the rocks. Whatever. Um, I interviewed a band last night at time of recording, and there was four members of the band and myself. And they all saw that. They all wanted to taste. And this thing was almost full when we started that. And an hour and a half later, there was enough for us to have a pour each. It's, it's dangerous stuff. It's really, you're just like... Oh, yeah, I want some more of that. I don't want the stuff that beats me up and makes me think. Right. <laughs> I don't want anything that makes me work too it's hard. Me. I hate when I have to feel things. <laughs> don't we all? Yeah. Hey, you know what, though? Life's hard enough sometimes. You need some sweet. Life may be hard, but I'm harder. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm hardest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm harness. <laughs> hardest. Bazinga! <laughs> Fuck the harness. No, hardest. Oh! Oh. I thought you said I'm harnessed. No. <laughs> that, that. Wow. That's what I was like, yeah, you have a wife. Of course you're harnessed. 
I didn't, She's got a leash on you. I didn't see a swing in your bedroom. Anyway. <laughs> if you're looking in the right spot, you will find one. But, so, yeah. No questions, no comments, no concerns, no queries from the Whiskey Tribe. There are only about two viewers, three viewers left. Yeah. So, well, so go for the real whiskey, there's the rye. The, the Copper Pony, I'm going to put this back the way it is. For the Copper Pony, it's fine. It's yeah. fine. It's not com too complex. It's not... Think about it for your next uh, ailment. Ooh. Nice. A good, maybe hot toddy. Definitely. Yeah. Good hot toddy. Um, it doesn't challenge you to, you know, see if you can handle me. No, there's <laughs> no challenge about it. It's It's got a lot of floral and effervescent notes that are going to mm -hmm. sit well in a cocktail. Right. Um, there's some complexity to it. There it is. It took us a little while to work through it, but but it's honestly it's nothing to write home about. But right. that's what makes it a good hot toddy whiskey. Is it's not it's not going to try and shine through. From a whiskey perspective, I say this is the favorite of the three, strictly okay. because these are not what I would consider whiskeys. I would consider them whiskey drinks. Like they're, they're I, 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 would, I would call I would call those liqueurs. Yeah. It says on the bottles, you know, with no. natural flavors, with liqueurs, that kind of thing. Right. And whereas this is a rye whiskey, yeah. Um, I just I needed an excuse to, to get rid of this and to drink this. I'm still gonna probably not buy another damn bottle of this just for just no, just for guests. Why not? No. Do you hate people? You are you are you are you, you wanted angry? To, you almost went down and bought a bottle. Are you angry? I have money. I can go buy a bottle. Yeah, that's what I said. Are you angry at people? Did they upset you somehow? I would not give that to people. I want to watch them burn. Anyway, um, any parting shots, sir? Final toasts. That's fun, by the way. Final toasts. Mm. Parting words. I, I, I'll tell you what, I can improv. I uh, I wish we would have done that. I can improv a, a, a toast better than other people can okay. like, sit there and write one. Why don't I give you some criteria? Give me a toast involving citrus, the subway, and a 68 Dodge Dart. <laughs> Citrus, mm -hmm. Subway, Dodge Dart. A 68 Dodge Dart. Yes. 68? Oh. Oh, you're almost, I, I you're to, almost encroaching on my Mustang territory. I used to own a 68 Dodge Dart. I want a 66 Fast. I had a concave back window. It was awesome. I sold it to a friend like an idiot and trashed it. Anyway, I got a toast based on those things. Okay. I'll give you mine. Okay. We gather around this tel this this table to celebrate the fruits of our labor. Nice. Whether they be the lemons that we dive ourselves into and waste all of our time into, okay. and have to come out the other side smelling the limes and the margaritas and the profits and the parties. Mm. Or we have to go deeper, we have to go underneath, we have to go subterranean, we have to go on the subway and ride amongst the people, the Ooh. peasants, if you will. The peasants? <laughs> Sorry, everyone who rides subways. <laughs> God forbid any of them drive a 66 Dodge Dart or a 68. Oh, Jesus, I feel for those so people. Lucky. Yeah. Yeah. What All I, right. What I, will, what I will say is that uh, no person is above another. So whether you drive a 68 Dodge Dart or a 66 Fastback or a 67 Convertible, we're all people. Mm -hmm. We're all here. We all appreciate each other. That is what the Whiskey Tribe and the Whiskey Vault is all about. Nice extrapolation. Mm. Mm. I heard most of that in Walkin's voice. <laughs> we're all people. Well, wow, people. Yeah. Well, now we're here. With any luck, uh, with any luck, some of us. Are now, 
But with any luck, you know, some of us are not on, driving a '68 Dodge. With, with any luck, some of us are on top of others. But you know, <laughs> you can't be mad at them. I mean, right. it's insane to be that, that judgmental over a cow. Oh my god! So, do you want to hear mine? Okay. May your life be more sweet than sour, like the lemon and the lime. May your life be smoother Ooh. than the rock. Oh, I feel like you could have gone somewhere with that. Uh, Meyer, actually, no, I, I had something. Meyer lemon. Meyer lemon. Yeah, you're right. May your Meyer life lemon. be more Meyer lemon than whatever the hell this is. <laughs> may your life be more Meyer lemon and less lime. And may your travels. Hold on. I had a thing. I had a thing. Um, and may it be more reliable than a 68 Dodge Dart. May it be more like a subway than a 68 Dodge Dart when it comes to reliability and smoothness. Because, man, that thing had a body roll. <laughs> it's not a good toast. Yours was better. I know may, where I'm May your travels be more accurate. Mm. As a subway, then a 68 dart. Mm. May you never touch the electric rail. Mm. Never touch two connecting points of electricity at the same time. Especially with water. All right. We've gone off the rails. And we've uh, also gone off the whiskey. Fuck you. I got two more bottles. But, uh, fuck you. I'm not drinking this shit. You like that. Fucking oh, yeah, heavy and grainstone? I tell you what, I'm not drinking anymore unless these people tell me to. We got two more. Oh, wow. It's on you guys. I got a bottle of Evan Williams and a bottle of grainstone Madeira cast finish. The Evan Williams is close to being finished. I've had a lot of whiskey today. He has. Maybe we should stop. I've had a lot of whiskey today. Feel free to subject me to punishment because I don't care. All right. I have no moral high ground. I don't. I don't. I really don't. I'm just, I'm a glutton for punishment. Just whatever the fuck you guys want, whatever makes it more entertaining for you. Whatever makes this whole thing more entertaining for you, I will do it. Just put it in the comments below, pending my approval. Pending, paint my house. <laughs> a. All right. As far as room six goes, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Buenas noches. Si. Gracias. And uh, if you want to support the content you love, please consider clicking the link down below for my Patreon page or maybe buy one of my CDs. And uh, this gentleman and I are actually in a jazz band called Dirty Martinis. With any luck, you'll see us posting gigs soon and pestering you to come to see us somewhere in the Vegas Valley. I'll say one more thing. Bring it. If you would like to donate to the effort aiding yes. Australia... There will be a link yes, down below to one of the to one of the charitable yeah. donations, one of the, the things that are going on. We'll link to that down below. If you have a reliable place to put your money to please help Please, reliable. Please, please mm -hmm. double check with things like UNICEF and the Red Cross. And, and just do your research. But also, you know, I'm going to do my research as well. I will have something in the show notes. Um, and uh, Whiskey Tribe, don't fear. I will be posting this video at some point in the future to the Whiskey Tribe so that you can see it and you can help out, uh, hopefully. And thank you so much for watching. Remember to be amazing. If you want to see more videos like this, click here. If you want to subscribe, please click down here and don't forget to ring that bell. Thank you, Sean. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time in Room 6. Ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum. Stay out of trouble. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> it's a very short list.